From a daredevil in Daytona Beach who thought he could jump the Main Street drawbridge, and a decades-old bridge in Florida that crushed a multi-million dollar yacht, to a clueless operator who opened the drawbridge while a car was driving across, and much more. Here are some of the craziest drawbridge failures caught on camera. It was July 4th of 2018. The city of Menasha, Wisconsin had just finished its fireworks display and everyone was going home for the night. One woman, who had a few too many drinks, decided to play it safe and ride her bike. She came upon the Racine Street Bridge, a drawbridge that opens to let boats pass into Lake Winnebago. Apparently, she was too drunk to see the bridge coming up. The arms are down, the lights are flashing, but this 37-year-old partygoer just bikes right through. She clips herself on the arm, loses control, and falls in the gap between the bridge and the road. You can't see them, but some people are waiting in their cars for the bridge to go back down. After they process what just happened, they run onto the bridge to see if she's okay. Thankfully, there's enough room for the guy in white to hop down and pull her out. In the end, she was cited for riding her bike on the bridge while it rose. Police officers took the woman to the hospital for a few facial injuries, but it was nothing major. Truth be told, she's pretty damn lucky because similar accidents have not ended so well. Daytona Beach is a coastal resort city in northern Florida, about an hour north of Orlando. Every year, bikers around the country ride down to Daytona Beach Bike Week. On March 15th of 2022, a 50-year-old man was in town for Bike Week when he learned a valuable lesson in patience. He was driving down the highway on his 2008 Honda when he came across the Main Street drawbridge. The bridge arms are down, telling other drivers it's about to rise. Mark crashes right through the arm and keeps moving. You can even see tiny bits of debris flying away from his bike. The camera cuts to the rising bridge. Mark's not about to test his inner evil Knievel, so he bails off his bike. The Honda ends up dangling over the bridge, but miraculously never falls in. You can see the man trying to get up as the drawbridge is raised before he exits the camera's view. A few moments later, the operator began lowering the bridge back down. Police had to shut the bridge down as they cleared the mess. In one aftermath photo, you can really see just how close his bike came to going over the edge. It seems as though his little trailer ended up saving it. Thankfully, Mark only walked away with a traffic ticket and a few bumps and bruises. He claims he was wiping the rain off his helmet and never saw the lowering arm. Palm Beach County, Florida had a few too many drawbridge-related accidents in 2022. On October 21st, the Ocean Avenue drawbridge in Lantana became another scary statistic. A driver was crossing the bridge when the gate suddenly closed behind him. About 30 seconds later, the bridge began to open while he was stuck on top. It looks like our driver panicked when he realized what was happening. He could have easily driven off the bridge if he had stopped a few feet further. As the bridge rises, his front tires come off the ground as the back rolls with the bridge. He opens his door only to see a 40-foot drop into the water below. It looks like he's trying to signal to the bridge operator when suddenly the car slides forward as the bridge reaches its maximum height. Thankfully, it landed safely on the other side. He walked around his car for a while while the bridge closed and then actually ended up just driving away. The bridge operator claims she never saw the car, saying her view from the office was obstructed. Still, she was promptly fired for violating policies. The Broad Causeway Bridge is a 70-year-old structure in dire need of repair. It connects the Bay Harbor Islands to the Miami-Dade mainland in southern Florida. To update or replace it would be an expensive and logistical nightmare. Talks of fixing the bridge heated up on December 3rd of 2014 after a mechanical issue caused the bridge to spontaneously fail. Unfortunately, it fell on a multi-million dollar superyacht, the Rockstar. A small tugboat pulls the superyacht under the bridge, unaware that it's currently falling. 
It looks like the yacht is about to make it when, bang, the bridge crashes into the roof, causing thousands of dollars in damage. The town manager explained that a strong windstorm passed through as the bridge was coming up. The old bridge couldn't hold its vertical position and began falling slowly. The bridge operator slammed on the brakes, stopping the bridge from spiraling into a freefall. Just in case you're wondering, there are plans to replace the Causeway Bridge in the next few years. Back in Daytona Beach, Florida, it appears that the man with his motorcycle wasn't the only one trying to jump the Main Street Bridge. On April 12th of 2021, a wild driver decided they didn't want to wait. The arms are clearly down, but our driver doesn't care. They can't even blame the rain, either. When the video starts, you see them flying down the road and smashing through the arm, causing considerable damage to their windshield. Then, they punch the gas and jump the bridge. Off camera, they break another traffic arm on their way out. Police identified the driver a few days later, but never arrested anybody. And uh, he wasn't the only guy who tried to jump the bridge, either. About a month before, another daredevil cleared the same gap during the 2021 Daytona Beach Bike Week. The point of a drawbridge is straightforward. They need to rise so other vehicles can pass underneath. Apparently, this boater in Seabright, New Jersey, didn't get the memo. July 3rd of 2018 was a great day to spend on the water. The Jersey Shore was alive and kicking. A few people relaxed on the boardwalk to watch the boats pass. Then, one local couldn't believe his eyes when this clueless boater arrived. <laughs> there goes the top of his boat. There it goes. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. And I pulled out the camera for the shit, man. Oh, that boat is fing done, man. Oh, that thing's stuck. As the story goes, the captain stopped and waited for the drawbridge to open. For some reason, they tried to drift the boat sideways through the opening. He got caught in the current and floated away from the bridge. For the record, we can't say for sure if the captain was from Hoboken. Well, that's all we have for you today, but if you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.